Yo, what's good? Today I'm going to be showing you guys how I made this melting effect here in After Effects, so let's just get right into it. I just flicked a rubber band behind my washing machine. And this is super sick, it's super satisfying watching that guy slowly melt away in the background. Uh, I really like how this turned out. And this is actually in one of my preset packs on my website. I'll have that link down in the description, but make sure to go snag that. And it's made up of all of these effects. So it is, you know, kind of a lot. So if you guys don't feel like doing all of this and adding on all of these effects, definitely go snag the pack. But because I'm just like a really, really nice guy, I'm gonna show you guys how I did this for completely free. So if you don't subscribe, bro, you're, you're Dweeb. So first thing you want to do obviously is rotor brush out your subject. So I got this little clip of summers right here and I just added on like some hue, some refined soft matte to fix the masking a little bit and then also some tritone for some color correction and then usually I'll add on some lumetri color for some color correction as well. And it looks like I got some deep glow on there as well. So the first effect we're going to add on here is Displacer Pro. I'll have that link down in the description. It is a free plugin and it's really good. So first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to to keyframe the translate Y value at zero on the first frame. Then on the last frame or past the last frame, what we can do, increase it or decrease it to have it go up or down. So in the negative space, I'll bring it to around negative 137 and make sure to highlight them and easy ease them with F9. Then to get rid of the black around here, what we're gonna do is change the edge behavior to mirror repeat. You can also do repeat or edge repeat, but mirror repeat looks the best. And then we can mess around with these keyframes, you know, drag it out a bit. So we got something that looks like this. And when you have the map displaced, what you can do is also displace the color, but you can't displace the color until you displace the map. So now that I have that displaced, I'm gonna go into chromatic aberration right here and we can mess with the red, green, or blue values. I'm gonna mess with the green for now. Just set a keyframe here at the default one value on the first frame, then on the last frame or past the last frame we can increase this or decrease it i'm going to increase this value something like that somewhere around two so now we got something that looks like that and now let's add on good old turbulent displace you already know and i'm going to set the amount to zero and size to 100 on the first frame then at the last frame you know we can do this however we want to basically if you don't already know you can just create some crazy looking effects with turbulent displace you just want to make sure to keyframe the evolution to create more like movement and motion up in that effect so keyframe some evolution here and have it go through two or three full rotations. Easy ease that hoe and then drag it out as always to add some motion looking like that. Now add on an effect called prism displacement. You guys see me messing with this effect a lot. I'm going to do something a little bit different here today. I'm going to mess with the refractive index and the soften just to change it up a little bit. So on the first frame, you know, leave it at zero. And then as you increase the glass refraction, you know, you get a trippy look. But if we keyframe also these two values right here, we can get some, you know, crazier stuff going on. And now, as you can see, this guy, he's gone, man. He's never coming back. Now I can add on heat wave. This is just, you know, I I go to this with every effect man not every effect but almost every effect because it just looks real nice you know increase that heat intensity all the way add some blur i don't know and you guys get the gist i think the best thing about this effect right here that you should take away from today is messing with the rgb on displacer pro that's definitely underrated i don't really see people using that with displacer pro they usually just mess with the displacement map but not the displacement color map it's a really unique tool and then of course messing with all of the settings on prism displacement and to wrap this up what i'll do is you know typically just add on some color correction i'm going to pre-compose these two layers together and add on good old rsmb typically add some glows stuff like that rsmb is just going to give it that nice realistic motion blur and you know if you know you know if you guys want these presets i'll have them linked down in the description make sure to check out my website jmovfx.com you guys would really support the channel if you guys picked it up and the more you guys support the channel the more i can create these videos for you guys i appreciate y'all for tuning in i'm sorry i was gone for like a month i was really sick but i'm back now thank goodness man i was just like in bed and i couldn't really do much uh so it was cheeks man it was it was really cheeks but i was super excited to be back i got some 
crazy editing packs on the way. Uh, I think it kind of blows everything else out of the water. So I'm, I'm excited, but I appreciate you guys. If you stuck till the end, God bless y'all. Peace out. Yeah,